Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And um, I'm going to start off with a fresh page today. And uh, I was at Joann's the other night, and that particular store, they were shutting down. And so this, it was $24.99, I got for $2. And then on top of that, I got this uh, really big candle that was about this big around. And I would say six, seven inches tall. And uh, it was $24.99, also got it for $2. So... I got out of there with four dollars and some change because they're they're closing that one particular uh, store down. And here goes my dogs again. It never fails with you two back there. Uh, but I did want to uh, try to make columns. Well, I see now all I had to do is pull the bottom off, but. I don't think I'm going to be saving the plastic anyway. So, I was going to make columns and just see what these look like. And I had um, pulled out some cool tones, just, you know, my craft smart, just different... Um, different uh, colors of cool tones. Let's see how this works. And generally I don't use just the color by itself. Let's see where it goes. And maybe just me mixing the one, this one here. We'll start the uh, process of not mixing uh, just the one paint by itself. Okay, y'all. Whoops, I should have. Didn't even shake that up. It's not bad for not shook up paint. use it again and get a whole different color and at first I was going to go I thought about painting the page white and um, putting down some um, you know th then putting down the stamps on just a white page which I wasn't going to leave it this white I was going to paint it uh, with a white and I may do that on one of them but Kind of just wanted to try it since we shook this one up. Let's see what it comes out as once we mix it with these others. I think I'll do, 
I could actually use this again because it's becoming a different color with each time. So yeah, I've already used this three different times and gotten three different colors. But you know, if I didn't use, you know, the other colors with it, I would have got, uh, it would have been much more translucent. Kind of my version of mark making. Okay, give this a few minutes to dry. Okay, so we're going to try to put these different um, columns down. I can't at the moment find my... I do have a longer block somewhere, but... I didn't want to especially use the bigger one. Um, you have to kind of be mindful because I'm going to be going over here and then when I flip it over, uh, you know, it won't matter on these, but when I get over here, I definitely need to be on this edge. Being new stickers. You know how the first time around they don't probably hold ink that well. I, I don't like that that line is there. I wished I had turned it around. Yes, this one here is a bit heavy. So I'm glad it's on the uh, edge. And I meant to tell myself to put on gloves. Hey, you two. Well, and I guess this one here, uh, I can butt it up against the edge of that, so... Guess we need to turn it that way. Okay, you two. I don't mind you playing, but not while my video's going on.
Well, I'm thinking that, um, well, I guess at some point you got to turn it around. We'll go ahead and repeat that. And then you are going to have that straight edge, but I guess it was, you know, probably intended, I guess, to be at the bottom of a page or at the top. See, I wasn't too mindful of that it's going to be. That one probably won't take as well because it's hitting my book over here. And it's real sticky on the back, so it is sticking to my gloves. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to turn around this way. They're very chilly morning here. We had our frost freeze last night, which my heat is running. Yeah, I don't know if I'm digging it. Um, but maybe something in the end, maybe the collage will cover up most of that. Let's see. Uh, this one here. Is a bit more sparse. So we are coming from the other side. I think that's part of my glove. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna turn it over. I guess a good rule of thumb would be just lay it down and then put your it's gonna be one of those things that's not gonna let go of my glove. I may have to just get ink all over my hands. Hey guys, I hear you back there. I'll give it a little bit of a twist. See if it takes the ink any better. Okay, you two. I think I'll just quit with these right now. Set these aside. And I 
was wanting to use this, you know, the lady that I cut out the other day that I said was on two pages. So you can still see. Let me see if I can't grab a pink marker. Or a pinkish marker to get rid of my white line. I think it's a little bit uneven going down through there, but we'll just go with it. And uh, what I did, you know, to hold it together because. I had to cut the thing, so I didn't try to cut two separate pieces. I put washi tape across here and then went on the back side and put, you know, the the uh, clear tape and then cut it out and just pull my washi tape off real slowly. But, um, maybe if somehow... You know, I was wanting to use this jewelry some way with it. And this is kind of as far as I've got. And I'm still looking for other things to put with it. I think these two Prada bottles would probably be kind of neat. Maybe I can cut her out somehow. And I like that she has no color. So let me cut these three out. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything cut out. And so I thought about that I would go ahead and try to put a word here at the top, but I kind of like this QR code. It was a uh, cut out, you know, with the Prada bottles. And, um, uh, Thought that was pretty neat. I thought I would use it up in one of the corners. And then I thought I would uh, put a word across the top with my Don Reevely letters and like I said with these letters you kind of got to be careful because there's a P and a B and a D and depending on which one you want to use regardless of which one's the P the B and the D uh, and there's the other one P, D, B. Let's see, I think uh, go with this one. And I want to try to put the word positivity across the top. And I've got a 
Okay, so I went and got me some a baby wipe to um, wet the back of these letters so they'll stick better. Okay. And here's where I'll probably get a lot of ink on my hands if I don't have a glove on. Okay, and then the O. See, I think. Here's the S. I think it may go, I think that may be the top. Okay, and here we are back, and, you know, these were the pictures I was still cutting out of Vogue yesterday, This, uh, I like that it was no color, and since I was going to be using the stamps, I just realized I wasn't even going to be using the whole picture. When that dries, it's far enough off the table. And then... Um, I wanted her because she didn't have any color as well. We will overlap that so we won't see the edges. I'm all about covering up edges, but it's not 100% of the time, but still. I just like when things can overlap.
overlap and same same as if that's the way it was supposed to be. And then I like these Prada bottles that they're in a triangle. And then two, how they can sort of cover up. And take away from something you didn't think was all that fabulous. And I knew my tube dogs would calm down just as soon as I turned that video off. And there I go again. There's... Because that was part of that perfume part. So I think at least it'll make my, my book smell good as well. And I think I'm going to put her here. Let's see if it will touch both or not, because I still had to put it down in the crease of the book. But it would great be great if it could. A little bit of the back of her head hair showing. And then, you know, here's the jewelry. And I do like that it covers up this edge and this edge. I think I'll just glue part of it right now until I can get its placement straightened out the way I want it to be. And as I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, what if, what if we try my pink pasta and make some dots on the page? Or either does, let's see. I 
I'm debating whether I'm going to stick that there or not. Okay, so I went ahead and cut this out, but I, uh, you know, she had on a white furry uh, looking cape and I cut that off. And that this is a good way that I can hide this line right here and use her for the graphics. Let's see if we can't put some dots. Put some dots around this word. And I almost didn't pick this pen because this here is ivory. But it probably shows up better than my white. Glad it's working better than I thought. So, do I need to go around that? I know this is painstaking, but I guess anything in art is painstaking, but good. A good painstaking. And I tried to, you know, get this to, you know, be in the crease of my book and you know these are the Diane Reevely letters that I've had for some time now Do I want to go around? Well, I should have started over here, but...
think I want to do all of her hair. The dots. I need to turn it a little bit. How long before Sandy sticks her hand and smears one of the dots? I should be going down. Let's see across. This way. I guess we could have went with a hundred little designs in her hair. I like how this is turning out it's a little more interest. A little more interest. Okay, guys, and uh, one thing left to do, I'll just have to cut this off over here, but other than that, I think... Uh, I like how it turned out and hope you guys enjoyed it and if you could subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up and as always see you tomorrow